Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I must say your customary blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohinu, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohinu, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name. And study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who drove us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep, keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you, may be kind to you, may Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Acts 6, 1 through 7, Romans 2, 17 through 29. Uh, 7, 7 through 12, 13, 8 through 10. Now in these days when her disciples were increasing in number, a complaint by the Hellenists arose against the Hebrews because their widows were becoming, were being neglected in the daily dis distribution. And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of Elohim to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, pick out of you from among, pick out from among you seven men of good re re repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they have, what they said, pleased the whole gathering. And they chose Stephen, a man of faith, and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip. In Prochorus, in Nicanor, in Timon, Parmenas, Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. These they sent before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. And the word of Elohim continued to increase, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests became obedient up to the faith. Romans 2, 17 through 29. But if you call yourself a Jew and rely on the law and boast in Elohim, all know his will and approve what is excellence, because you are instructed from the law. And if you are sure that you yourself are a guide to the blind, a light to those who are in darkness, an instructor to the foolish, a teacher of children having the law, the embodiment of knowledge and truth. You then who teach others, do not teach yourself. While you preach against stealing, do you steal? You who say that one must not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? And you who offer idols, do you rob temples? And you who boast in the law, dishonor Elohim by breaking the law. For as it is written, the name of Elohim is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. For circumcision is deed for circumcision is indeed is of value if you obey the law, but if you break the law your circumcision becomes uncircumcision. So if a man who is uncircumcised keeps the precepts of the law, will not his uncircumcision be regarded as circumcision? Then he who is physically uncircumcised but keeps the law will condemn you who have the written code in circumcision, but break the law. For no one is a Jew who is merely one outwardly. No one is circumcision outward and physical. But a Jew is one inwardly, and circumcision is a matter of the heart by the spirit, not by the letter. His praise is not from man, but from Elohim. Romans 7, 7-12 seven What then shall we say? That the law is sin? By no means. Yet if it has not been for the law, I would not know sin. For I would not have known what it is to covet if the law had said not. You shall not covet. But sin, seizing an opportunity through the commandment, produced in me all kinds of covetousness. For apart from the law, sin lies dead. I was once alive apart from the law. But when the commandment came, sin came alive and I died. The very commandment that promised life 
proved to be death to me. For sin seizing an opportunity through the commandment deceived me, and through it killed me. So the law is holy, and the commandment is holy, and righteous, and good. Romans 13, 8-10 Owe no one anything, except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandment, You shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, and you shall not steal, you shall not covet. And any other commandment are summed up in this word. These, this word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is a fulfilling of the law. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohinu, King of the universe, who gave the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Bukata Adonai Elohinu, Malakalo, Mashana, Talunu, Tere, Met, Baishi, Elohim, the Tabatikinu, Brukata Adonai, Utina, Torah.